Hey everybody, this is Brian Paul Veal coming to you from Littleton, Colorado to give you a quick demonstration of the next YZ smartphone adapter by Celestron. I got this because I just don't have enough money right now for a DSLR camera, but I have a pretty good smartphone. I have a Samsung S9 Plus and I thought, well, how in the world am I going to do this without like trying to hold the camera over the eyepiece and snapping maybe one shot out of a hundred. Um, so I did some research and um, went ahead and uh, contacted some uh, different telescope uh, stores online and here in town. And this is what we came up with and been pretty happy. So let me just show you. So that's background right anyway. Let me just show you what it looks like on the telescope. Um, the nice thing about the adapter is that when it comes out of the box, it's pretty much done and ready to go. All you have to do is attach it with a claw arm, I call it. Tighten it up with this uh, set screw as tight as it'll go so it doesn't move on the eyepiece. So that's what it looks like on one side with the screw completely tightened up. And then if you come over here, you can kind of uh, get an idea what the uh, claw looks like you know, wrapped around your lens. I would suggest never putting the lens over and above the rubber portion on your eyepiece. And with the eyepiece, I would suggest folding down the rubber. Um, it just has a better picture quality versus having the rubber up like if you're going to be looking at it through your eye. So um, one other suggestion is make sure everything's tight because the last thing you want to do is while you're taking video is have this thing move around. Now, you will have to collimate this in a sense. Um, what I do is I just basically get a flashlight and I'll just hold it through here and looking down through the eyepiece and then I will make adjustments um, to get the nice white light completely filling up my phone. Um, and by doing that, when you're looking at stars, you'll have a full view of the sky versus like half of you because you don't have everything lined up right. So when we're talking about lining things up, let's just go ahead and talk about what we talk about when we're uh, saying the X, Y, Z functions of the adapter. Uh, first of all, you have, uh, of course, the uh, X and Y. If you and the controls are right next to one another, um, as you move one, you can go along the uh, Y axis, and if you move the other, you can go along the X axis. And the goal is to line up the camera lens right center over your lens. And what you might see is that white light that I'm talking about. If you're using a flashlight, that's kind of small and you know it doesn't look like it fills everything up, and that's because. On your phone, you actually have to take your smart screen and just use your fingers and go ahead and get the picture a little bit wider until it's nothing but white space, and then you're ready to go. I find that to be sometimes around 3 or 4 magnification. My phone goes up to 10. Um, you'll have to play around with your phone, right, to see how it works. The Z axis is uh, pretty important. This basically controls the up and down as far as how close you want to get the the camera lens to your telescope lens. Now, sometimes if you have a heavier phone like I started out with, um, there is a tiny little screw they don't really talk about in the instructions that I've been able to find, but I've had to mess around with this thing. Um, if you look at this little screw with my finger is, right? That screw is a tension screw, and it's a, it's a tension screw for the Z uh, uh, access I'll call it you know moving things up and down if that's a little too loose when you put your phone in there you're gonna go oh my gosh my phone just sunk you're gonna raise it up and it's gonna sink again well all you have to do is tighten that sucker up and um, adjust the tension if you tighten it up too much you won't be able to raise the phone or at all so you just have to tighten it up to hold the weight of your phone uh, accordingly now let's go ahead and take this off I'm gonna be really bad at this because I'm trying to do it one-handed and it's on there pretty tight. So all you do is to remove or actually put it on either way uh, is you just take this tension screw here. Now if I should call it. And as I loosen that up, what you're going to see, if I come around, look around a little bit, is that claw becomes loose enough where you can hold it. So let me just kind of hold it here in light and show you. Again, this is... Uh, the screw that adjusts the tension on the claw and to put it around your eyepiece you just move it around so you can get it uh, wide enough to put over your eyepiece 
And like I was mentioning, um, on the eyepiece itself, I tend to have the rubber uh, folded back, right? And that way I just get a much better quality with my photo. Um, I use my um, 80 meter doublet, my Skywatcher 80 meter doublet. I really have been taking some great quality photos with it. It, it does not take um, a lot of work to get this to, to take quality images um, because the beautiful thing is, is that you can just take your phone, you know, and, and you can just expand it. So instead of having to go to a Barlow lens or something crazy like that, um, you can use your phone to magnify the image. And I'll be honest with you, it works incredibly well. Um, all I do is like I'll, I'll expand the image up. You know, this is like going up to like six times. And trust me, I go up to ten if I have to. Um, and then I'll just hit the focus on it, right? Um, and then it focuses on the object pretty well. So there you have it. I would say it's uh, certainly worth the money. It costs about 50 uh, U.S. dollars. And um, I have a whole album online of various photos that I've done video-wise, um, picture-wise. And all I can say is that the better phone you have, the more features you'll have and the more enjoyment you'll get out of this device. I'm not going to say it's a DSLR, but I will uh, certainly think that as far as planetary photos and terrestrial photos, which are really nice, you know, if you just want to go out and take pictures of the mountains or birds or whatever, um, it's excellent. So there you have it. I hope you've enjoyed a, a quick demonstration of the uh, Nex XYZ uh, unit. I would uh, hope that you'll enjoy yours as much as I've enjoyed mine. So I'll be signing off. Again, this is Brian Paul Veal located in Littleton, Colorado, wishing you clear skies.